Imagine the silence of space, no air, no sound, only the moon hanging there, unchanged for billions of years. Now imagine this. Humanity's greatest weapon ever created is launched, the Tsar Bomba. 50 megatons of pure destruction, a weapon designed to terrify a planet. It reaches the moon, and then, nothing like what you expect. There is no mushroom cloud, no rolling fireball, no thunder, because the moon has no atmosphere. The explosion happens in perfect silence. Energy slams into the surface, rock flashes white, stone melts, dust erupts and flies into the blackness of space. For a moment it looks dramatic, but the moon does not react, not emotionally, not physically, not meaningfully. A small crater forms, a scar barely noticeable. Why? Because the moon has been hit by worse, far worse. Asteroids the size of mountains have slammed into it, with energy greater than hundreds of nuclear bombs combined. And the moon is still here, still whole, still orbiting. The truth is brutal. A nuclear bomb is terrifying to cities, to countries, to civilizations. But on a cosmic scale, it is nothing. To crack the moon, you would need energy so vast that every nuclear weapon ever built, detonated at the same time, would still not be enough. The moon would not break. It would not shift. It would not fall toward Earth. Tides would remain calm. The night sky would look the same. And Earth would never notice. The bomb would vanish into history. The moon would continue its ancient path. This is the humbling reality of the universe. We build weapons thinking they make us powerful. But when we aim them at the cosmos, the cosmos doesn't even blink. You can frighten a world, but you cannot threaten a moon.